the extra game. And um, first of all, kind of the reflections on Saturday. I don't know how much time you've continued to give to those reflections, but you said about how schoolboy errors are not up in the top third. Is that something which you can work on in sh- such a short turnaround? Um, yeah, yeah. We obviously reflected uh, on it and watched the game and um, certain parts of it and highlights and key moments. So, which we'll do this morning with in the review. So, but uh, can you? Um, you just got to obviously remind the lads of what their responsibilities are, um, and uh, hopefully they'll they'll you know eradicate them. Then um, we did talk about certain issues in the game that might happen, and one of them did for the first goal. So. You know, it was disappointing that that um, uh, we we succumbed to uh, a situation where we knew w- would happen, and um, we just got to keep reminding the boys, and you know, hopefully, you know, it won't happen again. Gary was up in the stands. Did he come with a different perspective then when he came down and spoke after the game to you? Well, he was um, uh, he wasn't actually there uh, at the weekend. He was um, at home with with the flu, so with the, with the cold. So, um, but he watched the game. We spoke about it yesterday. Um, he gets all the, you know, we all get all the games, all the staff, so every minute of everything. So yeah, we 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 came to the same conclusion really that, um, you know, like say, well, like I said after the game, you go to top of the table side, haven't lost at home. Um, you've got to be sensible in defending and uh, you know cut out silly mistakes, which unfortunately we didn't on on two occasions. Does it help to have a, a short turnaround when you want to almost make an immediate impact and you've, you've spotted a few things? Does it help so that you can say, right, we've seen those things, let's sort it out? Yeah, I always think if you, um, the beauty of it is you, you can get straight back and you know um, eradicate what went before and then get a result, decent performance and uh, Saturday's forgotten and you can move on. So you know, rather than dwelling on it too long, um, I think it's important to, to get around the boys and um, you know get things moving again. It's not an easy game, though. You know, you've got another high high side away. Yeah. How do you face a team like Exeter? Well, a good side. I mean, uh, uh, they had a great run, didn't they? I think you know, it's a double figures probably. I think unbeaten, so and, and and wins in a row. So you know, they've had a great great run and got themselves in the round of playoffs. So we know what's expected. We know what you know that um, Paul sides like to to play, and um, they've got some really good players in there. And uh, quite rightly, are up there and amongst the the, you know the top echelons of the of the league, so uh, we know we're going to have to play better than Saturday. Um, although we weren't awful, you know we, we we were decent at times, just not enough of the game. We, we had to to get a result, I think, um, and we know we're going to have to play better uh, tomorrow night uh, to to get a result. Yeah, their home record is very good. I think uh, they've they lost once since November at home. So does that make it? Even more of a challenge. It sounds like it because obviously they can play so well at home. Yeah, well, every every game's a chance to, you know, statistics is, is to every game's a chance to either improve them or make them, you know, or, or, or disprove them. Um, we'll we'll just look to see how the game goes and do our best in every situation that arises. Um, you know, I think once the game starts, statistics go out the window, and uh, every game's a new opportunity to to impress and and do well. So we'll be treating that tomorrow as a Another chance to you know get nearer to safety. Gary said ahead of last week's game, you know six or seven people potentially coming for Carl Storer. You know, do you think that you're still going to try and mix things up? You, lo- you lost Will Boyle. Um, I don't know how Harry's doing as well. So how might things have to change? Yeah, we 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 got to look at that. We're going to have to look at um, uh, one or two, you know, uh, positions in the team. Obviously, with Will, Will being suspended, um, and he's been great for us. So you know we will miss him, but we've got able deputies. No, no, no problem with that. Um, and then, yeah, you, you know, you like you, we have got options that we can use, um, both in forward positions and in midfield. So you know, maybe a time to bring one or two in. We'll we'll, we'll see what um, we we do this morning and see how it works out. You certainly said on Saturday it was that final third, that, that top third. How can you try and sort of work on that? You know, are there can we jiggle that around, or is it just almost having to to play what's in front of you? Well, it's it's always the it's always the hardest part of the team to you know to consistently get right. You you do rely on people on the spur of the moment a lot of the time, picking the right ball. You know their imagination, change of tempo, whatever it is, um, willingness to score uh, and get on the ball, and that takes more courage than defending a lot of the time. Uh, so yeah, we've got to look at look at the boys and, and give them pointers about what we want them to do. Um, 
if there are, you know there's any changes in that, then you know those players will naturally have a uplift that come into the team. And um, you know, like I said, we got we got enough options here to to change one or two things. And uh, obviously we've got Saturday as well, so three games in a week. We'll just have to see what we do this morning, and um, you know, hopefully we pick the right uh, blend. Is there the hunger almost when you're writing that relegation potential scrap? Is there a real hunger? Right, we've got to score goals. We've got to go out. When do you start to move above that little bit? Do you just start to lose that little bit, and it's just a bit mid-table? We can't get much out of the season. We've almost we've moved ourselves away enough from the relegation. Bit. I would I would hope not because uh, I, I think everybody's aware of the situation. I'm I'm pretty sure that you know no one in the squad thinks that we're safe. There's nothing that we haven't certainly given them that impression. Um, we we had a good run of four games um, in sides that do well and the sides that uh, I was in that did well. You know we always made sure we didn't have back to back defeats. We had to get back on and you know get something back on the board again and get get another run going. So that's what we'd be looking to do. Um, any any side worth their salt would be looking to do that. So you know I don't think there's any any of that in the squad that complacency. Um, uh, so you know it's. As soon as we said after the game Saturday, we've got to get straight back on and get a result Tuesday, and um, you know get ourselves as safe as soon as possible. Thanks very much, Ross. Cheers, Mark. Ross, how is Gary? Do you think he's going to be back for Tuesday? Oh, he's hoping to. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, I think he's seen the, the doctors today. So yeah, he, he should be back all right. Um, hopefully, so I think it's just hitting harder than um, some of the boys. I mean, there's one or two of the lads that have been off for a while. So um, I think it's the same with him. Yeah, is, is he given you your views on the goals yet? Because obviously there were there was some good stuff on Saturday, but you yeah. wouldn't have been happy with the goals, would he? No, I mean there was some good stuff. Um, no, what the exactly the same as I said, really. You know, it was uh, switching off at the wrong time, um, and uh, we got punished for it. They seized the moment. We talk about that with our boys. Um, when the time comes to strike, you've got to do it because you, you know certainly away from, home from Doncaster, you won't get too many opportunities. Um, by and large, and uh, they did that well Saturday. They, you know, a couple of opportunities they had, they scored. Um, they they took the, the chance when we had ten men, um, and uh, they missed one or two others. And Brownie made some good saves at the end. But I, I think generally, while it was eleven v eleven for large periods, we were, you know, okay. I thought, you know, and uh, it's just those silly moments, like I said, and you know, agreed with me there that um, they could have been dealt with better. Yeah. Tin obviously came back in and has been doing well on the left of the back three and, and Ashok just has done well when he's played but do you think Tin's quite suited to go in the middle? If um, maybe yeah we'll, we'll look around uh, look at that option and see what we can do with that yeah um, Tin's done very well um, looks a real accomplished player for someone so young so um, and then Dan's done well when he's played so you know we'll, we'll tinker about and see what we can come up with but yeah certainly one of the options Yeah you get a lot of big lads in this league don't you but you don't get many like Tin who can Play no. like that as well. No, he looks comfortable, doesn't he? I don't think he's given the ball away yet, is he? I'm not, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, we're saying he, you know, looks always looks assured and accomplished. Looks like he's got time on the ball, um, and you know, you'd expect that really for someone coming from a, you know, decent level in Germany. And uh, he's he's proved a real good asset for us. Yeah, he said after the game that you think you've come a long way in the last two years working with Gary, and it made me think about your managerial career. <laughs> don't know about you've... that. Still want to pursue um, as a first team manager, or are you, you quite happy coaching? You don't know. Yeah, I'm happy. Just I'm happy to be involved in football. Um, I've enjoyed stepping up to senior level. Um, uh, you know, having played at twenty odd years and, um, in the game, and then um, coaching for fifteen years or so now. So um, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, obviously enjoy it more when you when you're winning, but it's great to be involved in the game and the club I love. And um, it's uh, yeah, it, you know, it'd be it'd be great this year to. Um, to, to keep us up after the struggles we've had earlier on, and um, you know, pretty confident we will. But um, obviously, until we get there, um, and you know, in some ways, it'll be just as big an enjoyment as last year's yeah. to keep us in the league, and then we can build on that from for future years. But he's not a bad man to learn from, is he? Gary? No, no, brilliant, great knowledge. I mean, obviously, thirty years in uh, management. You know, it's um, uh, fantastic to learn off uh, and. You know, he wants to know your opinion as well, which is great. You know, I'm sure there's some people that will, will you know, it's them and that them only. So, uh, and all the staff are involved in that as well. And um, um, it, it is great to learn off, yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, when you first stepped up, up as manager, you, you'd been working in the academy, hadn't you? So you weren't number two, but now, obviously, you've now been working two years as yeah. first team number two. So that's, that's Yeah, you would expect, if, you know, you would expect to, it, that was a big jump. 
Um, and uh, you, you know, you go into it and thinking you know what you need to do. And, um, but uh, yeah, it's been great. Two years has given me a good grounding um, for, and, I, and you, you know, I do think that some people do get try, uh, pushed up too quick. And uh, you know, if you look at major companies, no, people don't go from being a factory worker to the head of the company just by overnight sort of thing. You know, so and. Um, you know, I think the football's the same. I think people do get pushed up too quick, and then they they fall away very quick. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm glad I've had the grounding, and um, it, whatever happens in the future happens. I don't know. I'm just enjoying you know each day working with a good set of lads, great manager, and uh, good staff. Yeah, just on um, Saturday's Liam Davis, do you think he'll be all right? Because he was struggling a bit before the game, wasn't he? And obviously came off at half time. Yeah, I just spoke to Gav. He hasn't seen him yet, so um, he said to go away and uh, rest up, and we'll see where he is today. Uh, so uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll see where Liam is and uh, you know decide on on what we do. Yeah, ready bank replacement if needed. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Well, I mean we're 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 lucky there. We have got two two good left sided wing backs, full backs, midfielders. You know that that equally do as good a job. So uh, you know there isn't too much of a problem there. Yeah, I doubt many clubs have got four left footed defenders actually. No, we were saying you know we were saying across there and. Uh, I had it with the youth team actually. We had a lot. Of, all of a sudden, it wasn't because I was left footed, but we just managed to see we had a lot of left footers, and we, we've got it now with um, obviously Will and Tin and uh, Cranners and various others, and Dan and Sean to see. So, you know, we've got a good um, good mix. Always think the lefty's got something else up the sleeve, but I'm being biased. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's nice, and we just got to find that right balance tomorrow. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, John. Thank you. Thank you.